Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Saturnalia, uh, where it has been a couple days more than I would have liked. Um, definitely not because I'm too scared to say the, to play the game, why would you even say that? Uh, but just, you know, real life stuff happens. So I've been refreshing myself with this extremely handy clues board. Uh, and it seems like at this point our primary concern is just like, let's find our people and let's maybe try to leave the city because whatever's going on here we could come back we could come back on a different day or something right so we have here our uh, our bright yellow active missions button is just like we have one thing that anita really needs to say to damian to damiano and it is it's kind of time sensitive uh we need to find at least what happened to paul's dad uh we gotta wake up sergio we can't just leave sergio here and then our landlady just called us and said she'd leave the light on. So I guess, not our landlady, but the lady who owns the B&B. So I guess let's maybe make that the move. Situated near an overpass and a votive shrine. Not a thing we actually know off the top of our heads. Stopping by the pharmacy early could be, could be the move as well. Just to get, um, to get Sergio up feels like he should be aware of what's going on it feels like it feels like it's not a great idea to just like leave the man passed out and everything all right characters you do not control will try to find the closest visited safe area oh, my kingdom for like a flashlight here let's just run to the next bonfire because this one's pretty close to a map isn't it well no not exactly Let's see. So I do, I do kind of remember the layout of the city, I think. Every time I see the silhouette of a person in the fog, I'm going to be like, oh God, the thing, the thing. But no, the thing is bigger and it has like, a, it has like a cult of the world word style deer mask on, right? That reminds me, we do we do need to get back to Alan Wake at some point. One problem at a time. One spooky problem at a time. Oh. Ah, darn it, that's the wrong button. This is Tecla's house. Okay, she's left the light on. Hi! You are not terrifying at all. Well, can you let me in? Hello? Oh, okay, is this not the right door? I mean, this is the house, right? How do I... No, we're definitely getting further from it, and I don't want to go any closer to the, uh... to the sacrifice monument. Tecla, Jesus, what are you doing there? Listen to me. You have to get out of here. This is a terrible place. Well, I think Anita has a car. I mean, a small one, but I'm sure we'd fit. No, that's useless. The main gate is barricaded during the festival. You need to another way out. I can help you, but you must help me first. The creature took my sister long ago. Find her, or what's left of her. Take this pendant. Eliana wore an identical one. Maybe she still does. It's been 60 years. Help me put this all to rest, please. Okay, that's a heck of a pendant. Apparently it is a tip typical protective Sardinian Manofico pendant. Okay, all right. I will attempt to do that. Oh. Okay, we got lots of matches. I don't have to feel too bad about still wasting them occasionally. Uh... Okay, we need a map. We need a map. I need to find a place where I can... Okay, we're pretty close to the front of the village, right? I definitely heard a thing. <clears throat> I am properly, you know, alone and in the dark while playing this, so forgive me for being maybe a little... Jumpy. Okay, it's just doors. It's the sounds of doors. Uh, the pharmacy... Wait, 
What am I doing? I just like memorized it, but I didn't actually look at it with my own face. Like, oh, it's a journey. Okay, turn around, turn right, go straight a bunch. Of course, of course, it's all the way over there. So one thing that I don't know is whether the, um, but I wanted to turn further right, right? Because this is a more, more direct route to it, I think. Um, one thing that I don't know is if the light will actually play any part in deterring the creature. Oh, no, wait, maybe I was right the first time. Yeah, this way just goes to the horrifying well and... No, this is wrong. This is all wrong. Because I'm like running from bonfire to bonfire like that's going to save me. But if this thing is like a person with ill intent, it's not going to care about these fires. Okay, yeah, this way. I mean, hell, there's a bonfire burning at the place where it, where it chained up Anita, so... Ugh, I really don't like the way that if I really don't like the way that if the character is walking, um, the camera fights you when you try to turn it. Oh, that's not lit yet. Okay. It makes it so hard to just like quickly look behind you in moments of concern. Have I forgotten the route? Oh, I think I've forgotten the route. Wait, what does this say? Threatening graffiti. Hmm. So one thing that we do know is that the um, the camera flash seems to be scary to the creature, right? We saw that in the opening. So I'm trying to be a little bit judicious with our um, camera ammo is what I want to call it. The pharmacy, my man. Yeah, shoot. We have to go... Oh, this is no good. This is no good. I have to go past this and then, like, hold... Hold close to the left here. Nope. I may not be reading that map correctly. Costello Bissani... Hey, what a surprise. A thing's not open. Okay. Well, we found a bar. Hi. Okay, I couldn't tell what was going on from outside, but it's, it's an arcade game. Hey, kid, it's too dangerous to hang around outside right now. All right, dude. If you want to play, just wait your turn. No, I need your help. Anita and I are trying to get out of town. Yeah, aren't we all? My father says he'll never let me. She's not going to listen to me, but maybe she'll listen to her dad. Yeah, that's she really seems like the kind of kid who listens to her dad. Uh, yep, yeah, no, I know what it is. I, we're already forgetting the uh, the path. There's uh, something here. Nope, never mind. I just have the ability to jiggle the table for reasons unknown. Okay, we have successfully jiggled each table individually. Huh, a monster from Sardinian folklore. It sort of reminds me, oh, there's, there's writing here, but I can't um, translate it, obviously. Got some thoughts about that. A mutador, a monster that visits in your sleep. Not the kind of monster we're having problems with today. Anything back there? No, okay, well, we got some matches, we got some money. Also found a coin, or, or a phone, but I mean, I don't think I really have a lot of use for that. Uh, and I've definitely forgotten the way to the pharmacy.
Jesus Christ. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why would you do that? Alright, okay, over to here. Am I doing this right? No, says the video game map. Why am I having such a hard time maneuvering in this fucking city? Okay. This way. Is it this way? It's... See, it says it's over here, but I keep getting stonewalled over here. This is just the bar. Right. Go this way. I think the game's taking it easy on me as far as monsters go because it's so early in the game. And I do really appreciate that, to be clear. I think the pharmacy is that way. Aha! The pharmacy. Yep. Kind of figured that was going to be how we were going to do that. Shit, that was loud. Gotta be careful. I assume noise probably does draw attention. A prescription for morphine? Filled out to somebody. We'll worry about exactly what that clue said later. Because of the handy clue system that allows me to investigate things in my inventory when I'm in a safe place. For right now, I'm just looking for some naloxone. Hell yeah. Alright, perfect. Sergio will be back on his feet in a flash. Deep in the Unconscious by Dr. E. Zaki. Repressed traumas are sometimes revisited in dreams. Cool. Solid, power, solid speed reading skills there, friend. All right, now we just got to make it back. Oh, hold on. That's a bonfire. Worth a match? Probably. Okay, now we got to find a way back home. And I'm trying to do a little bit of, like, scouting here. As unwise as that may be. It is real, like, real scary over here. Maybe I don't want to be over here. Maybe this is a terrible idea. Hold on, I saw... Fucking stupid idea for a stupid trip. Okay, I saw a bunch of matches. There's a big old matchbook there. We need to get back to the villa, which it seems like is going to be turn left, go this way for a while, and then, yeah, okay. So I thought he was just pointing us, like, as the crow flies towards stuff, but it does seem like he points us along the route that we need to take to get places, which I really appreciate. I probably shouldn't be doing too much running when I don't absolutely have to. Because obviously if the thing shows up, I need to be able to bail. Okay, it's a turn right somewhere around here. I think... Gosh, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of graffiti about people people liking each other around here. I don't remember seeing so much of that before. All right, maybe I need to keep going this way. There we go. This is this is in fact the villa. Okay. Sergio Okay, come on. Yes, what was Sergio doing a few hours before? Sergio Ullis was abruptly sent away from Gravois at the age of 15, amid swirling rumors that deeply embarrassed his family. 
Thirty years later, he's returned home from Manchester to attend to his ailing father Umberto, an, age, uh, an aged former miner stricken with terminal silicosis. After decades of suppressing painful memories and unanswered questions, the remote village of Gravois has instantly brought them flooding back. On the 21st of December, amid the bizarre festival of St. Lucia, Sergio attempts to reconnect with someone long lost. It's interesting that it's like four completely different but separate folk horror protagonists, right? Because like a critical part of, Ooh, if you can hear the father's breathing machine, that's rough. Um, a critical part of the whole like folk horror vibe is the the sense of alienation, right? It can't be a person who lives in the environment. It has to be somebody who is a stranger or who used to live there, but, you know, they've been away for a long enough time that it's not home to them anymore. Um, because the place has to seem kind of alien and threatening. That's... And I appreciate the number of different ways they're coming up with to allow us to, uh, to allow us to have that with all these different characters. <sighs> My father and his iron lung keeps him breathing, keeps him alive. Sergio, what are you doing here? Are, are you staying? Please, stay. It's almost time for your dose, Dad. I'm just here to help you take it. Okay, in liquid form for ingestion. Sergio's father, one of the old miners of Gravoy. Do we... Uh, do I need to help him take his dose? Is this an actual thing? Okay, so Paul and Sergio are friends. Okay, Umberto put his son's belongings in the basement. I'm given a question mark, but not. Um... So we have, interestingly, uh, also note that we we do have reception now in the top right for the phone. I assume. So that's um, the thing to keep track of. But having a satellite phone is like, that's awesome. That seems very powerful. Okay, cool. I don't know why my dad has all these firecrackers, but that's fine. Where are the stairs to the basement? They're right there. They're right there. You walked right past them before. You know this. Okay. I'm sure this basement won't be creepy at all. Yeah, the um the the wrangling the camera is the the biggest bummer here because it really it feels jarring in a way that isn't really part of the thing. It's just kind of like the the necessary mechanics of the video game grinding against each other. An elegant tartan coat embroidered with your Bruno. God, look at this coat. I can't believe I left it. I shouldn't have. Twenty years my senior, but we had matching coats. Interesting. Receipt for a one-way flight to Manchester. Mr. Bruno Bissani. Hmm, there's a phone number on this airfare receipt. Bruno's? I, I should call Bruno. Let's see if this sad phone works. Okay, use space when signal is full. All right, it's not enough. Not enough to have a couple of bars. All right, well, let's go find out what happened to Bruno Bissani. We were getting some... I should probably turn the light off. We were getting some signal upstairs near Dad, so... We out here on the balcony? Mm, reception's not quite good enough here. Maybe on the other balcony. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, I can't seem to get through. Well, I guess... Okay, we do have to give Dad his dose. 
Sergio, are you here? Can you give me some morphine, please? Yeah, hopefully Sergio knows how much to do that and... Because I sure as hell don't. And he's out. I'm a modern acabadora, giving peace to the suffering. You know, there's a bit left. I might as well go to Paul's and take a break. That feels very irresponsible, and your dad definitely needs this shit. Like... All right. Please, something horrible is going on. We need your help. Well, what happened? This thing I got on film is trying to kill us. Hey, I know this mask from a book Bruno showed me back then. So what the hell is it? Find the castle's book of rituals. Yeah, I don't know. You, you stay put. I'll go take a look outside. That book. I need to find it. I'm certain it'll help explain all this. It was in the castle library. Yeah, maybe it still is. Nothing changes here. It's really easy to feel that way about the place where you were where you were young. Um Oh. Okay. That was something. Church bells brought it on, I guess. I don't know if that was like a response from Sergio to the church bells or if that was the creature howling in response to the church bells and then that was Sergio's response to the creature howling. So likely to be found in the main tower's library. In theory, the creature's nest is underground, right? That makes sense. It came up from the well. Bruno Bassani was the lord of Gravois Castle. That's interesting. Also, somewhere there's Gabriel, the bar owner. I wonder if this is the guy who seemed more, um, more persistent, more permanent than the other people we're seeing through the mist. Yeah, this I like. I love this little bit of text. It's very evocative of you know a certain kind of father son relationship without laying on any specifics, so everybody could kind of identify themselves into it. I mean, not everybody. I presumably there are some people who have good relationships with their fathers. I don't know that I've ever met one, but in theory, it must happen somewhere. Okay, so the castle. I have no idea how to get to the castle. But it'll start with going this way. Yo, Sergio's in good shape. Hold on. Hold on. Did I get full bars? Can we try calling Bruno again? Oh, can't seem to get through. Alright. Thought it was worth a try. Okay, Castello Bassani. I mean, it's a castle. It can't be terribly hard to find, right? I was just reading about this campaign. Yeah, yeah, this. Where candidates for the elections are posted. Croxy Vota. Okay, that made a note for us, but we don't get to examine it any any more right now. Hey, 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 wait, just fucking... That's him, I just need him to stop running. That man there, that's Gabriel. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to him. Hey, okay, there we go. Excuse me, Mr. Bernard, you're Claudia's father, correct? I was... Get away from me, leave me alone! Okay, well that's the response of somebody with something to hide. Did he go in here or did he run off? Okay, find a way into Claudia's house. Well, I mean, first of all. Secondly, uh, this seems locked from the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I mean, if I'm willing to break some glass, I could probably get in through the window. Also locked from the other side. Yeah. Uh, apparently everything in here is very flammable, so please be careful. He just left. And he left the door open. Okay, works for me. There must be something important in here. So this is where Claudia and her father live. Why do I think there must be something important in here? Uh, that creature must be nearby. I'll need to keep plenty of distance. Okay, that's just the back entrance. Probably a good thing to keep open. Hmm, he's nervous. He didn't even remember to shut the door. I'm intrigued. So that's Claudia's room. Let's, uh, let's check out the father's room first. What have we here? Gabrielle's insect collection. Hmm. Okay. One thing I was thinking is just like if anybody has spare money laying around, it's likely to be the father. A box full of toys and other memorabilia. Not that I think it's rad to just walk into people's houses and rob them, but you know, I'm, I'm like in the middle of something important here. Mara's Diary. Mara Mirai, age 16. I dreamed about the Amutador again. He lies on my chest and steals my doll. Huh. Show Claudia her aunt's diary. Why do I think this would help? This is a little, the plot's a little thin here. It's kind of just like jammed together the pieces that you have so far. This diary belonged to Claudia's aunt Mara. Dates to at least age 16. It's obsession, a plague of endless dreams, and always with the same monster. Could this somehow relate to the festival? Claudia's got to see it. All right, I'm going to stay quiet and hidden. He's much more, like, he's sending us a lot more warnings about the monster. <laughs> Claudia's father's bedroom it suits him, which isn't a compliment. This is just the light switch, right? I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm leaving the lights on. I guess turning the lights on before searching gives you highlights on the things you can interact with. Ooh, camera does not like that. Claudia's room. I think she'll turn out just fine. I, I suppose, based on her punk posters. A handcraft made by school children as a gift. It's a cute little pasta necklace. She does not look that young. All right, I will find a use for this. Don't worry, Claudia. I'll, I'll put your coins to good use. Huh. Okay, some Cobra Cola to drink when tired. And now that we've finished robbing this actual child, I suppose let's go back outside. Wait. A framed picture of Tekla and the Mirai children. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I... I didn't even figure there'd be anything on the back. I just, you know. It's the sort of thing where if you have the ability to look, why wouldn't you look? Okay, so that comes to the comes to a dead end. Alright. So where are we going to find here's something we haven't actually done yet. I'm kinda of curious about. Can I do this while I'm standing in the light? If we call one of our other characters, does that just give us the ability to switch to them, or can we hit them up for, like, useful information? Like, mostly what I'm wondering is, can I call from... Okay, yeah, never mind. We can switch to them, or we can ask them to come to us. Mostly what I was wondering is if I could get them to tell me the route to somewhere, if we could use them as a map, basically. Um, but it seems like the answer to that is a no. So the castle is over sort of by the front of the village, it seemed like, or at least that's the way to get to it. According to the signs that we were seeing. 
Yeah, I guess we'll go check the map, right? All right, this we've seen already. The way this stuff continues to glow in the environment makes me think it must be important eventually. But I have no idea when we would need it. Okay, the castle entrance is all the way across. All right. So we want to go... I guess I should be careful. The running is is louder and eats our stamina. Both things are dangerous. Boy, I hate I hate when it points you directly at a wall. Do you want me to go left around this obstruction or right around this obstruction? When I came back to Gravoy, I didn't expect to enjoy it, but yeah, this is a poor showing, even so. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Castle to the right. Okay. Just happened past the pharmacy. means I probably actually went past the um oh this is this is a place here we are castle entrance and what a surprise it's not open castle gates are always barred at night I suppose I could try the path around back for old times sake I do not have a camera for this Alright, that was an intentional match pull, but I am wondering if I did it a little early. Just trying to, like, make sure I can see what I'm looking for. I was going to try to walk this way around uh, the back of the castle, but actually this doesn't look like it. Maybe I need to go left from the gate. I thought on the big map that I had seen... Okay. Paul could photograph this perfectly if he were here. It's got to be down this way then, right? I don't love that. I don't love any part of that. Okay. Coins. Coins is good. Don't suppose you can actually climb? Nope. All right. We might go through a fair number of matches here trying to just sort out where exactly I'm trying to get to. Okay. Those are an invisible wall. I'm hoping Sergio will have some, uh, will have some memory of the right spot. Hello, ancient tree with something hanging from it. A broken train from a traditional Sardinian wedding dress. Disturbing. But he can't take it or anything. Something here has been plastered over. Okay, nope, can't get anything out of it with a match. Okay, that probably helps. So we're getting a lot more just like spooky noise in general now, and I don't love that. The creature must be sensitive to light, right? Because the flash scares it. So... Presumably, staying in a more lit area is safer. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. 
It can't be right. It can't be right to ring the bell. That feels like it's got to get you caught, right? It's going to going to bring that thing running. Kind of like feeling around here for a spot where phone reception is good to bring, um, pr try to bring, uh, his, what's his name over with the camera, but I'm not finding it. All right, I'm going to look around a little bit more here on my own. Although I think I've sort of, at this point, I think I've sort of paced the whole area. I can't have been all that thorough, though. Not this quickly. Is there anything in the little, the middle part of this little... Hmm. Lost my train of thought. Ah, yes. That... What? That was weird. He's trying to create an in-universe excuse for the fact that I seem to be so lost. Okay. Really thought I saw something there. A neurologic archaeological site up ahead. Not really all that useful. That's a normal person. Just a normal person. So yeah, I don't... Hmm, we tried going left and we tried going right. I don't feel like... I have any idea where this back back entrance to the castle is. Let me um Let's pop into his head. Bruno would always remind me to use the path around the village. Okay. Yeah, it'd be really great if we could get Peter over here to take a picture of this. Not least so that it will let us look at it without all of the stuff um, over it. So... I'm really having a hard time making sense of this map. Like, where are we on this map? The path around the village... I think we maybe we do have to go to the right here. We have to go around a bit of the village. Does this take me to a place I can actually get into? No, it doesn't. Okay. But I think we need to end up on the other side of that wall. And from there... Well, that's the thing. Okay, I'm in a pretty well-lit area. We gotta test this. Will it attack us in the light? Yes. Yes, extremely. Oh, this is a dead end. Well. <laughs> Turns out it only would have helped so much for me not to stop because I ran us into a dead end either way. <laughs> What the fuck? Was that Sergio? Yeah, no, we know that was Sergio. Hold on, the phone's ringing. Hello? Did you hear that scream? What the hell was it? Was it that thing? You must never look at it after midnight. It's too dangerous. Cover your eyes if it is near. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I don't like that. 
I don't want to be responsible for that. Yeah, sure, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Quietly. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna go save Sergio. Yeah, Sergio's a much better runner than everybody else. And also, I'm going to try to get a picture of that sign. We know where the thing will have changed Sergio up. The key is just to not look at it, I guess. I don't, that doesn't feel like it's going to be all that helpful. Okay, I hadn't actually walked down this way before. What is this? What have I just let myself into? Nope, oh, that's a phone. Oh, uh, this is the hardware store, right. Maybe we did need to break the window. Okay, so then it'll be this left that takes us to the thing. That big spooky face on the wall was kind of singing to us, which I don't care for. You know what? We should, um, let's take a second here since I have found my way to the bar. Claudia, where are you? No, of course not. Of course, she's not still here. Uh, she must be hiding somewhere uh, around here. Maybe in the back or... Can I at least play the arcade game now? No. Paul's far too responsible. Okay, it's like really, it's like actually really dark back here. Claudia? Jesus, Claudia, what the hell are you doing? You're freaking me out. She is non-responsive. I will also cover my eyes until the music is less spooky. It's not really getting any less spooky. Hey, we found your aunt's diary. Uh, where? Who's we? Why did you steal Aunt Mara's diary? Yeah, no, these are great questions. Your house, me, Anita, and Sergio. It, it's connected to what's going on. What are you talking about? Why do you even care about any of this? Look, she... Maybe she knew what happened to my dad 30 years ago. 30 years ago? Give me that diary back. Okay, but something is going on, and this diary is the key. Or, or part of it. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll take a look, I guess. Okay, that's something, right? Claudia Mirai, daughter of the owner of Graboy's long-standing local bar, was born and raised in the village. When she was only seven, Claudia's beloved aunt inexplicably committed suicide, a tragedy that permanently alienated Claudia from the community and its eccentric traditions. On the evening of the 21st of December, against her wishes, Claudia's father brings her to St. Lu uh, Lucia's masked mass, Gravois's most ancient ritual. Okay, so this is a much lower degree of alienation, but it's still very present. Go inside, up to the Metronium, and wear the mask. What? Why? I just want to go. Let me go. It's for your own safety. Just put it on. You're the last person I'd listen to for safety advice. Please, Claudia. Please. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess I'm not allowed to... He's going to physically block me from leaving, so... Uh, up to the Metronium. This way, right? No? Not until I have my mask on? Uh, can I do that? How do I... How I mask? Okay, attend mass at sunset on the winter solstice before curfew. Yeah, I don't seem to have actually been given the ability to mask. 
All right, we can hide in here with our eyes closed. That's useful. Not allowed to walk over here. Not allowed to talk to you or take any actions to put on my mask. I can still cover my eyes. Hey, did you give me the mask yet? Hey, there we go. Okay. He was holding it out in front of him and I couldn't see it because I was between him and the camera the whole time. Left control to put on the mask. Whatever. God, I can't see anything in this stupid thing. Which, it turns out, is the point, right? How do I take it back off? Because left control is not doing it. Maybe you're just not allowed to take it off in the metronium. Hi, everybody. What are we, what are we all doing? Oh, Oh good, my new goal is escape from the church. Well, it's nice to um, to have an opportunity to interact with the church a little bit more and figure out a way out and stuff. So that when we come back here to figure out what's up with, uh, with Damiano, we can... Okay, yeah, you can remove it the same way. You just can't do it while you're in there. I mean, I can just climb down this thing and I'll be out of here. Yeah, that seems like it's the move, then. How do I... Okay. Well, I guess I can just walk off the side of it. You know, I kind of want to go to the bar and play video games right now. And canonically, we know that that is what happens. Yeah, when she said I could like climb down, I really thought we was gonna we were gonna do more climbing instead of just uh, me walking off the side of it. Ah, right, because she is very small. Okay, so we've got our four characters now, or for the moment, three of them, I suppose. Inspect the site of Mara's hanging. Is that? That tree that we were just... Okay. Actually, the thing is... Swap. We have a very important picture to take. Um, come with me, though. Is this the thing I wanted to take a picture of? No. Alright, space to talk or skip dialogue... Get, there you go. You get a little stuck on that window. Alright, you're with me, kid. First of all, Sergio, how you doing? Oh, the chain's tied to a bell. If I caught it, the creature will hear. Okay. Well, fucking let's do it. Shit, it's that thing. Never, ever look at it. I didn't try, I tried not to look at it. Shoot, I made a wrong turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey y'all. I don't know, I'm still getting the music, so I kind of assumed I was being followed still, but... Alright, you don't necessarily have to get to a safe place. You can just lose it. Um, follow me, everyone. Come on, we got a place to get to. And it's over here, right? No, this is the mine. Shoot. Uh, I need a map because I am very bad at maneuvering in this city. But maybe we don't go past the altar every single time. Huh. Scandalized mine union graffiti. Search for Leon's mine, lock mine locker. That's interesting. I wonder if this Leon still works there. Yeah, it's a question worth investigating, I suppose. 
Um, okay, now I know where we are. So this is this is the way to the castle then. It's through. It's right past here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just don't like being over here very much. Okay. So instead of going up there, we go down and to the right. And this takes us toward the castle, right? <laughs> Those of you who are good at keeping track of where... Oh, howdy. They're good at keeping track of your location in 3D spaces are probably very frustrated, and I apologize. Okay, I need to go forward and right. We're going to do this thing. No, wait, if I stick to the left, okay, walk around here and just stick to the left. This is going to be the way, stick to like sort of the left wall. This is going to be the way that gets us to the castle's other entrance. But it's blocked by barriers that not everyone can fit through. Wait, did she not come with us? I said everyone come with us, didn't I? Alright, well, if she's not with us, we're not going to be able to do that. There she is. Hi! Did you, did you forget? Everyone follow me. I guess at this point, you know what? Let's just go to the castle. And take that picture, right? Let's go to the, the front of the castle, the area that we know we can't get in through. And at least have this available. Okay. Now she's actually following us. I wonder if she can fit through any of the entrances up here. But let's try this. Let's see. So swap to you. No, she can't. She can't wiggle through this one. But... The one that's blocking us from reaching the back entrance to the castle looked very much like the ones that, um, the tutorial one. So, we shall help. Uh, okay, I'm getting all... Sorry, it's not here, it's over here, just... Keep hugging the left wall until you reach... There we go. This. Okay. Oh, that just gets us around... Okay, this is not a new area. It's just a shortcut. I wonder if this will cause them to... Ooh, scare the shit out of me? Perhaps? Could be. Wait, isn't this just the mine, though? This doesn't lead around to the back of the castle at all. <sighs> Shit. I thought on the map... Okay, hold on. Now that we've taken the picture of the... Um, the shortcut... Can we... Where, where do I find that... Okay, so this tree is the site of the hanging. Okay, and Claudio can tell us what's going on over there. Where is... Where's the node that... I would expect the node that represents... Okay, this allows me to just look at the... Look at the sign all the time. It's not actually all that useful. It's not, it's not as zoomed in as I, as I would like. Well... Probably we should, at the very least, look for new information on another entrance in the bar. Okay. All right. Come on, y'all. So the creature seems like, I mean, if it is a man, it's quite a big man, yeah? It seems like we should be able to escape it by doing this. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't think it would be able to follow her through one of these. But I guess let's just go back to the site of the, the hanging. Which I'm sure is gonna be a pleasant time all around. Should have just kept playing games at the arcade. Yeah, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Here. I'm assuming the, the guys will catch up with us eventually. Alright, so it's this one. This is where I found her. Something has been plastered over. I need like a scraper. Okay. Doesn't help either. Find a drywall spatula. Hardware store? Huh. The bar has painting tools. Okay. I guess that is also a way to do that. Many, many good reasons to return to the bar. Unfortunately, I don't exactly remember where the bar is from here. This is a sign. Damn it, I keep doing that. I just, I expect right click to be use, you know? Uh, okay, kind of turn left and just run straight. Indeed. All right, well, that was glowing from the outside. Getting a lot of use out of this thing, at least. There's no year because no one knows when it started. She's referring to the poster there. Uh, that was like a battery? That's not what I was looking for. Okay, so I've still searched all of this stuff. This doesn't do anything else for her either. I wonder if, I mean, the fact that it's mentioned in her aunt's diary means it's like it's got to be more than just a, more than just a an object, right? To pick up and then put back down. Huh? Where's this go? Why haven't I noticed it before? At least it's something new. This was how the princess snuck in her manstress. Nice. It's uh, kind of nice here. Ah, this is the way to the castle. Okay, and now we can open the door. All right. Handy. What that did not get me was painting tools. Ah. Okay. We're doing all right. Can I actually get into here? Because obviously, like, that, um... Oh, what are you? Eyeless, with the surname Mergia inscribed. That's Tekla's last name, isn't it? Nope, the little, the little hut does not have an entrance. There's a cash register in there, is all I was thinking, you know? Okay, well. This will this will eat a coin, presumably. Um, hmm. I kind of want to go back to the bar. The bar has a phone. Let's come back here and see about perhaps. Uh, there it is. Okay, yes, everybody's back at the villa. The two the two that we lost made their way back to safety. Because obviously we want to do this as Sergio, right? But actually, maybe, um, maybe this would be a pretty good time to call it for today. 
I feel like we've made some progress. We've met all the uh, all the members of our merry band. We've had a semi-successful clash with the creature in that nobody was permanently harmed. I'll take it. Uh, and when you come back next time, I think we know our way around here enough to actually start making some plot progress. And we'll see you then. <laughs>